Okay, everybody, I want to talk once again about aspect ratios and anamorphics, and we'll see how we can relate this to something news you can use sort of a thing. Let's talk about anamorphic video. And first, I want to just review a little bit about uh, theatrical aspect ratios. Most of the movies that were shot during the 70s, 80s, 90s were shot with an aspect ratio of 1.85 to 1. This is very similar to the 16 by 9 aspect ratio of high definition television. In fact, if you simplify the equation, uh, the, the, well, the, the ratio, 16 by 9, you get down to uh, 1.78 to 1. It's very close to 1.85. And so, um, you know, okay, let's just say this frame that you're watching right now is the. Uh, 16 by 9 or 1.78 to 1. Now, if I were to just put a little edge on here and down here to make it uh, a 1.85 to 1 picture, you'll see there's just a little bit of a border there uh, on the top and the bottom. So that's awfully close. And so uh, it was determined that when you show uh, these 1.85 to 1 movies on television, you know, you're either going to have just a very slight border there, or maybe you'll just go ahead and open up the frame a little bit and just fill up the whole 16 by 9 frame. Um, so you may notice that on some of your movies. Uh, most of those movies that were shot in 185, there is a little bit of a margin there that can be opened up just a little bit on the top and bottom without an adverse effect. And so, uh, so it looks pretty good on your widescreen TV. Um, but that's now. Let's go back uh, a few years when guys who thought they were very sophisticated, who were collecting movies on Laserdisc, uh, they preferred to see the entire aspect ratio that was originally seen in theater. So they wanted to see this whole wide frame here. And um, when they watched it on television, their preferred method of, of, of seeing those movies on television was to go ahead and shrink it down so that it would fit on uh, their, their standard definition TVs. And you see the full edge over here and on this side as well. And then you just have some black borders on the top and the bottom. And, uh, but at least you're seeing the entire frame of what you had in theaters. Now, some of you may be clever enough to say, now, hang on a second. Uh, this is supposed to be higher quality like this, but that's just wasted space that could be full of picture detail and it's not being used for anything at all, isn't that, uh, you know, how can that be higher quality when you're not using the full resolution of your video? And, well, you have a point there. And so, uh, at the same time this issue was being, you know, pondered by minds superior to mine, um, bigger TVs were all over the place. People were starting to get a big screen TV in their, uh, in their, rec room or starting to build up their little home theaters or maybe they even had a projector and a lot of these monitors were capable of showing higher resolution picture than what video had to offer but the problem was video was just what it was video had not improved so even though your monitor can handle more than what your video is giving you you know so it's so a little bit of an impasse there until people started to figure out ways to better utilize the technology so while 16 by 9 monitors were starting to come into the picture, if you will, and high definition video was on the horizon, uh, meanwhile some people figured out that they could, they could get a little bit more out of their standard definition videos on things like Laserdisc or DVD. Uh, and, and they used a process called anamorphic video. So what I'm going to do with anamorphic is I'm going to take this wide picture that I have here, this 16 by 9 picture, and uh, rather than shrink it all the way down to fit inside the 4 by 3 frame, I'm just going to squeeze it inward like this, and this way I'm not losing any picture detail I'm, I'm uh, up in the black bars there because there aren't any black bars, and so if I have the right kind of monitor and the right kind of setting, uh, maybe I can utilize this extra picture detail. As it stands, just watching it like this, this is really not uh, ideal because you take you know something that's supposed to be round, like like say this, and look, it's 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 not round. It's 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 an ellipse, and you know that that's not ideal. Um, so. 
You need to make sure that your DVD player is set to output the right kind of video to your monitor. So let's say you've got a 16 by 9 enhanced DVD, and it looks like this if you just played it back normally. But if you've informed your DVD player when you're setting it up that, oh, by the way, I only have a standard definition old-fashioned 4x3 monitor, then the DVD player will automatically adjust the picture so that it looks okay on your monitor, and it'll be letterboxed on your monitor. But if you happen to have a 16x9 monitor, which is going to offer higher resolution than your old standard definition monitor, then your 16x9 monitor can say, oh look, I've got extra information here, I've got extra detail here, I'm going to reformat those, this so that it looks good on, uh, to you, I'm going to fill up my whole screen with it, and I'm going, to, I'm going to use that extra information, and you're going to have a higher resolution, a better uh, viewing experience. So that was the point of having anamorphic video. Um, it allows also, you know, some DVD players, if you've got an anamorphically enhanced uh, video and you're still thinking I don't want to watch it letterboxed like this I really I don't like the black bars up there and down there I just don't like it uh, then some of those DVD players will allow you to just have the pictures zoom in to fill up your whole screen and it's still going to cut off the edges out here but uh, you know so you can kind of have it both ways if you prefer to just zoom in on the picture you can set your DVD player to do that if you prefer to uh, have a letterboxed picture you can do that, and if you've got the proper 16x9 monitor, then you're going to see all that extra resolution and all that detail, and that's going to be fun for you too. So that's part of the magic of DVD. And also, if you happen to go out and buy a, uh, a digital TV converter box because you wanted to watch the new digital TV signals on your old analog 4x3 TV, there's a similar setup in your digital TV converter box asking you, okay, what kind of monitor do you have? Do you want the picture squeezed and let your monitor uh, figure out how to make it look right? Do you want it just zoomed in so that it fills up your whole old-fashioned 4x3 frame? Or would you like a widescreen, high-definition picture letterboxed so you can see the whole thing? You have that option, but it just it's a matter of setting it up correctly on uh, on your system so that you're watching it correctly. Now some people, uh, you know, when DVD players first came out, the default setting was to output a, a 16 by 9 enhanced picture. So if you just got a DVD player and plugged it in without doing any of the setup stuff and you put it on your regular 4x3 monitor, then suddenly everything looks like this and, and, and that's, not, that's not the best way to, to see things at all. And I think some people didn't realize that uh, you know, the, the, there was a setting to correct that. They just thought, well, all DVDs must look like that. So, um, yeah, so make sure you, you got that set correctly. Uh, also, you know, just to, as long as I'm still here, I got a, a couple minutes. Let's, let's just talk about some terminology. Um, letterbox, but okay, this is an example of letterbox because the picture that you're seeing is uh, kind of a letter shape uh, in, in, inside your... Uh, your monitor there, and uh, the black bars up there and down there, you know, that, that's what you got there, letterboxed. Now, if you happen to have a 16 by 9 television, and you're watching uh, an older film or old TV shows that were shot for a 4 by 3 format, and uh, maybe the picture looks like this. Um, so, you know, that's okay, because if you're watching The Brady Bunch, or I Love Lucy, or, you know, what, Charlie's Angel, or whatever, whatever old show you happen to be watching, hey, you're, you're seeing the whole frame now, that's what it, that's what it looked like originally, and, uh, you're not cutting anything off, and your 16 by 9 monitor can show you more than that, but there's nothing else to show, so you've got the black bars now here on the sides. And uh, that is called pillar boxed, by the way. All right, ran out of time here on uh, YouTube. So uh, next time, I'm just going to talk some more about 16x9 formats on video, including uh, how should you set your video camera for the videos you're making so that you'll get the highest quality and the right settings and the kind of picture you really prefer to produce on your video camera. So we'll talk about that next time, and uh, you have a great day.